Finally, we are at the end of the electronic part. It's the question 15 to use substitution to compute the integrals. It's from lesson 5.6. Here, since it's the electronic part, we can solve everything, all these problems in the calculator itself, provided we should know all the four options. Otherwise, we cannot use the electronic method. Now, let's take our calculators and see how we can solve it. First thing is, whenever you have integrals, don't put this integral symbol, just put the values. What is the question? It's x power 3, the given question. Then we have square root x power 4, x raised to 4, plus 3. And here, just calculate at any particular x value. Don't use any negative numbers. Don't use 1, don't use 0. Any other numbers, you can choose 1.5, 1.9, 2, 3, 4, 100 as well. I generally go with x2, you can just remember this value, x times 2. Don't leave it in terms of fraction or radical form. Make sure it's in decimal, it's 34.87, you can write it somewhere. And then you need to look into all the four options. Now this is the correct option with plus c, right? Now one of the correct option, when you derive it, at x is equal to 0, when you derive, shift and d, uh, the symbol, use your d by dx, right? and x is equal to 2 will give you the same answer 34.87 let's look at this shift d by dx that's deriving the answers 1 by 6 here it's alpha x to the power 4 plus 3 close the bracket raised to the power 3 by 2 and here we have x at 2 because we assume the x value of 2 right at the beginning so here we go, it's 34.87, absolutely right. Same thing can be done over here. Use this integral 1 plus 10, x as 2, calculated at 2, it's 4.58. Now I will derive this 1 by 15 times 1 plus 10, x, close the bracket, raised to the power 3 by 2 at x is equal to 2 we just go out and put x is equal to 2 must be 4.58 so that's it anytime now now let me just change it over here let me change it to 3 5.56 right now look at this 1 plus 10 x calculated at 3 it should be 5.56 it will match. You can solve all these problems. It'll be the same thing. Let me do these trigonometric functions as well. Please change the mode from degree to radian because it's trig functions. Shift, mode, and forward. Now it's in radians. Now let's type it out. Only these questions first. Sine, x, close the bracket, divided by square root cos x. Why do we do the question first? Because we have a definite question, but the op options there are four. We don't know which is correct one. It might be A, B, C, D. So try each one option. First try A. If it's not matching, then go to second option, third option. You might get in the second option the correct one. You don't need to do the third and fourth. That's why we do the question first and try to match the options with the question. Here, calculate that two. Okay, now here we got a math error. Why? Because this square root and uh, the domain over here, you might get a negative number. So in such cases, whenever you get math error, try to change the x value. Okay, let me try. Three also will be a math error. Why? Because the domain is not, uh, it's beyond, you know, you will get an error. So how about one? But I've told you not to take one. So let, let us take 0 0.5. It should work with 0 0.5. Here we got 0 0.511. There are rare cases where you get a math error. Whenever you get math error, just choose a value other than, uh, usually, right? Whenever you get math error, you can take 0 0.5. Even there's another question where we did the same method and we got the same error with inverse, sine inverse problem, I guess. We took 0 0.5 and it worked out fine. So if you come across this problem, just take 0 0.5 and we have 0 0.51177. And it's in radian mode. Now try to derive the answer that is minus 2 square root cosine x. 
you don't need to put plus c because when you derive any constant it will be zero now if you put two it will be error no why because we had changed the value to 0 0.5 and it was 0 0.1177 absolutely right so this is how we can solve it how about this one it's the same thing here now sign x close the bracket and raise it to the power 3 this is not the x this is the entire thing raised or you can put the brackets here just to be on the safe side bracket for sign so here the double bracket is because x also has a bracket and then this is also having a bracket multiplied with, with cos x okay calculated at 2 it's minus 0 0.3128 now let's solve this up over here it's not solving up sorry remember this negative 0 0.31 it's shift d by dx why because we have to derive this sine before that i have to put the fraction symbol sine i'll open the bracket put the sine value x close the bracket two times because this is for the x and now i closed it which i opened initially raised to the power 4 divided by 4 at x value of 2 it should be negative 0 0.312 that's it please do try these problems t here is just a variable put it as x alpha x and you will get the answers let's see these ones now i will do the 11th one here it will be okay these are the answers let us put in the question first alpha x you can put multiplied or you can directly write e to the power it's fine raised to the power again x squared plus one calculated at two the answer is 296.82 now let me derive this half that is 0 0.5 or you can write fraction half e to the power x squared plus one and we have over here at two it's same thing similarly you can try this it's the same concept repeated you can try this and derive that at the same point and then you will get the same uh, correct answer and what about these this is similar okay i'll do uh, let me do both of these over here are the answers you can see this first one is plus c that's not required only this part is required for us so given question that is shift e to the power square root x divided by square root x calculated at 2 and we are getting answer 2.9 that means shift d by dx over here 2 e raised to the power root x that square root x at x is equal to 2 must be the same answer 2.9 what about this one cosine 1 divided by x close the bracket divided by x squared here calculated at 2 the answer is 0 0.219 now put this answer chef d by dx minus sine 1 by x and close the bracket you don't need to put any c because it will be dissolved to 0 when you derive it. But the x value must be 2 itself at 0 0.219. It's the same answer. So this is how we can solve any of these problems and you will get the same answer. Let me do natural logarithm as well. So we have first fraction square root. The only issue in the exam is you need to make sure you do it for all the four options and check. If you get the answer in the first or second, then it's fine. Otherwise, you have to go until you get the answer, which matches the question x value. So here x calculated at 2. The answer is 0 0.416. Now, let us look at the answers. Here we go. It is chef d by dx 2 thirds of open the bracket, natural logarithm x, close the bracket and raise it to the power 3 by 2 it's not 2 by 3 it's 3 by 2 x value is 2 the answer is 0 0.416 now if you want you can change this let me change this to 3 or anything 1.5 for that matter it's 0 0.4245 look here it will be the same over here ln 
x close the bracket x calculated at the same value i took 1.5 it should be 0 0.4245 for this last problem the solution set is having an error let me solve this out over here and then let's use uh, the answer proper answer it's all correct only the square root is the error over there so how we solve it is if you're doing the substitution we have to consider whatever is inside the square root there are a few thumb rules over here i can just understand whatever is inside the square root i can easily consider to be u that is tan x and then what's going to be du du is going to be secant squared x now as du by dx sorry with respect to x we are deriving now we need dx not du because over here this is u what is dx dx will be equal to this secant squared x goes to the other side dx comes up it'll be du by secant squared x we can just substitute in the given question so the integral will be secant squared x square root u dx is du by secant squared x this and this cancels out and you're only remaining with square root u du now let's integrate this this is uh, square root that's power half isn't it so integral of u to the power half du what's gonna happen that will be equal to u 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c now here when we write this in fractions we can't write divided by we write it as um, you know we swap them up and write it as multiplication it will be 2 by 3 u 3 by 2 because this in the denominator remains whereas this one goes up it's like a divided by b by c what is the value it'll be c a divided by b isn't it the b remains whereas this goes up it'll be c a so whatever is down over here will be multiplied with the about it, plus c now what was u initially which we assumed u was only tan x so two thirds of tan x three by two plus c is the correct answer now if you look at the solution over here it's all right two by thirds three power uh, three by two raised to the power that's also correct but only the square root tan x is the error so let's use the correct answer and use the calculator method here so what i'll do is i'll put this given equation that is one divided by secant square that uh, one divided by secant is not there it's cosine x close the bracket and raise this to the power 2 multiply it with square root tan x tan x is directly there alpha x close the bracket and calculate it at say 2 now i'm getting an error so what do what should i do i'll just jump to 0 0.5 and here we go the answer is 0 0.9597 now let me solve this with shift dy by dx it's two thirds of square root sorry not square root open the bracket tan x close the bracket and raise it to the power i've closed it twice because i've opened it once over here this one is for x and then for the tan raise it to the power 3 by 2 or 1.5 and then here we have to write 0 0.5 not any other value imagine you put 2 it's an error right? because we got error at the question right so it'll be 0 0.5 it should be 9597 and that's the correct answer so this is how we solve these problems and this is uh, error the square root must not be there over here and that is the end of all the electronic part questions i hope you have found these videos helpful and if you can do a huge favor to me that is by sharing these videos with your friends who also can benefit from it all the advanced grade videos eot's and listen explanations are available please do share it for those who can benefit and also if you could subscribe to my channel or like these videos it would mean a lot to me thank you very much for watching my videos i wish you all the best for the exam